true crime, mystery, weird stories. A lot of lying, a lot of backstabbing. She was raped, molested in gangs and run prostitution rings. That she would wake up dead when she was murdered. It disgusted me. The most inhuman thing that someone can do. This is another true crime. Warning, this video includes sensitive and graphic information. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi everybody, this is Lady Curious, aka Curious Raven. We do have a case that has really bothered me and when I heard this case, I just could not believe it. Like it just blew my mind. It's something that would be on like some type of scary movie. This is the disturbing case of Maria Lizette Nimeth. Maria was only 31 years old at the time when this tragedy struck. She worked as a leasing office manager of a colonnade residence apartment complex in Sunrise, Florida. A cousin had said that they all call her Lizette, the family does. She was a native of Peru who immigrated as a teenager. She quickly learned English and worked in retail and medical offices before taking the job at the leasing office. She also lived on property and would just walk to work. She just signed a lease with her boyfriend, Fidel Lopez. Maria was Peruvian and almost all her family were back in Peru, except a couple of cousins. Nimeth was described as sweet and down to earth, and her neighbors were horrified and sad to hear what had happened, especially those who were close to her. She had been with her boyfriend, Lopez, for about one year. They had met at a club and hit it off. Maria was previously divorced with no children. Fidel Lopez was 24 years old and from Cuba. At that time, he had a living girlfriend with one child. He had broken it off with her after he had met Maria. They only had one car in between them, and since she could walk to work, he would take Maria's car to work at Davies Truck Stop, which a manager there said he only worked there for about three days. The early night in September of 2015 started out happy with a celebration that night. Lopez states that they were both social drinkers, but he can hold his liquor better than Maria. That night, they went out, and they actually saw Lopez's mother before they went back home, and she stated that they seemed very in love and happy. As they were going home, they stopped by a liquor store to get some tequila on the way home to celebrate them moving in together and getting their own apartment. They made a cute makeshift table out of two boxes because they had only been living in the apartment for about one week before this devastating event and they just didn't have a lot of furniture. Lopez lied to investigators about what happened that night. Here's some interrogation video. All right, spell your first name for me. Uh, first name is Fidel, F-I-D-E-L. Okay, and your last name? Lopez, L-O-P-E-C. Excellent. Okay. And you're 26 years old? No, 24. 24? Mm -hmm. And your date of birth? Uh, March, uh, March 28, 1991. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about what happened tonight. All right. Uh, we're going to go everything in detail. Obviously, uh, what I want to do is go over your rights waiver form. Um, okay. This is your rights. I'm going to read you each thing. Uh, you're going to answer. I'm going to have you sign. And then uh, we'll take a seat. Yeah, I don't know how to read in English, so just read it. I'll read it. You understand English, though, yeah, correct? Yeah, I do. Okay. And um, what, what... I'm sorry, do you want to read Spanish for me? Uh, what, um, where'd you go to school? I went to Nova High School. And did you graduate? No, I did not. What year did you go to? Uh, I went to um, 10th grade. 10th grade? Okay. And uh, you have a job? I have a job. Where do you work? I work on five ninety five truck stop right. as a mechanic. Mechanic, how long have you done that? Uh, but I just started there like uh, I'll be there for a month already. A month? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, 
And um, have you lived in the United States? When did you move here? Where are you from? To the United States. I'm from Cuba. From Cuba. When did you move here? Um, to the United States. Um, 2007. 2007. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you understand English, but you can read Spanish. Uh, yeah, I understand English. You know, speak it a little bit. Um, but, you know, okay, so what I do, I'm going to get, I'm going to read this to you in English, and uh -huh. I have a Spanish form that I'll also have you sign, okay? Right, just cool. so you understand, I just want to, you know, um, you came here today voluntarily to provide a statement about what happened last night? Yeah. Okay. Um, no threats or promises have been made to you? We've been... No, 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 I just came here. I just yeah, want to find out why this is dead. I just, what, what happened? Just, and that's what we want to do that's too. What, that's what we want to know. Like, All right. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, but like I said, let's first go over your form, and then we'll we'll go on from there. Okay. So print your name here on the top. Over here. Yep. Print your name right there. Okay. Just hold the pen. This says, "Do you understand that I'm a police officer? Do you understand that?" Yes. Okay. Then you write yes, and just put your initials next to it. Initials? Yeah, just initials. This line right here says, you have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to speak to an attorney before speaking to the police or to have an attorney present during questioning now or in the future. Do you understand? Yes. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for, for you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand? If you decide to answer questions now without an attorney present, you will you will still have the right to stop and answer at any to have the right to stop answering at any time and speak to the court. Have you previously requested any of the law enforcement officers you've been in contact with today to speak to an attorney? Uh, what do you mean? Have you have you asked any officers today to speak to an attorney? No, no, no. Okay. And no? Okay, Should I put here no? Yep. Knowing and understanding your rights, as I have explained them to you, are you willing to answer my questions without an attorney present? Yeah. Okay. Put on this line right here. Print your name there. And I'm just going to read this to you, okay? Um, I, Fidel Lopez, have read this statement of my rights or have had it read to me, which I have, okay? And I understand my, what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not wish an attorney at this time. No threats or promises have been made to me. No pressure of any kind has been used against me, nor have I trick, been tricked or fooled into giving this statement. I understand and know what I am doing. I further understand that this statement may be used against me in a court of law. I have not previously requested any law enforcement officer to allow me to speak to an attorney. Do you understand everything that I just read to you? Yes. Okay, sign your name here. Today's date is uh, yeah, so, yes, correct. All right. Um, so let's start with who do you live with over at uh, Colonnades? Is it a Colonnades or it's uh, uh, Colonnades? Colonnades. Yeah. Who do you live with there? Uh, I live with her, with Maria Nemeth. Okay, Maria. What's Maria's last name? Maria Nemeth. Mar do you, can you spell that? Uh, Nemeth is uh, N E M E T H. Okay. Nemeth. All right. How long have you guys been together? We've been together for about a year and year and two months, almost. You know. Okay. And how long have you been in the apartment over here in Sunrise? Over here, about a, six day, like a week. A week. Yeah. Okay. Um, where did you live prior to that? Uh, uh, before, uh, before. Where did you live before you lived in the apartment? Hialeah. Hialeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, did you live together in Hialeah? Yeah, we lived together in Hialeah. We, we also were, were living on Hollywood Beach. Then we moved to Hialeah for a month. Then we came here. Okay, so Hollywood Beach. Hollywood Beach. Hialeah. Hialeah. Sunrise. And Sunrise. And each time you lived together, you and yeah, Maria? Yeah, me and her. Okay. Yeah. Um, who did you live with in Hialeah? Uh, I mean, with, with her, Maria, but who did? Who else did you live in with? In my house, uh, in the big house, it was me, my brother, my mother, and her. Okay. Before, so all your family. Yeah, all family. And where, where's her family at? 
Uh, her family, the, she has family in her area also. Okay. Uh, her dad is uh, living in Pompano. Pompano. Uh huh. And her mother and sister is yeah, they're in Peru. Okay. So how um, is she in contact with her mom and her, her dad? Yeah, she she was you know like by Facebook, you know things like that. She she don't have a phone. We we're about to buy a phone. But I mean, do they they see each other often, or they have a good relationship? Um, her and um, the ends, um, you know, because the ends don't like her because she was drinking too much, like, like I was telling you, like, and, you know, but besides that, her her mother and things like that, they, they always, you know, see we share the, the shadow with cameras and things like that, yeah. like WhatsApp and applications like that, so, okay. but, they, you know, they're, they're cool. I mean, so she she works at the complex. She works at the complex. What, how long has she worked there? Uh, to be honest with you, I believe it's like around like uh, about five six years. Do you know what she does there? Uh, yeah, she's a system manager. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, she pass the checks. Uh, she works apartments, see the damage and things like that. Reporter. Okay. That, yeah. That's at the college where you live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, you guys have been together for over a year. Uh, exclusive? You guys, boyfriend, girlfriend, no other? No. Has no. she ever been married before? Yeah, she was. She was. How long, how, when was that? Uh, she was married for eight years. Eight years? Uh, no, you have any children? No. She okay. have, any children. have you ever been married before? No. You have any children? I do. You do how many? I have two. Two? Mm -hmm. uh, boy or girl? Two boys. Two boys? How old are they? One of them is a year and a half, and the other one's almost two years. Year and a half, years and a half. I mean, one of them is a year and, and like one month, and yeah. the other one's almost two years. I just have one next to the other. So okay. Like, Where do they live? Uh, they live with the mother. Um, There's a university, and I don't forget the I forget the road, so it's just it's it's close by. Yeah. So your one son was born right when you kind of right when you got together with Maria. Uh, exactly. Yeah. The the last one is uh we just made at the you know right like right up at the same almost the same. So you you lived together with her the the mother of your children the you Yeah, I was living together with separate. her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't living with Maria when I met her. I mean, okay. you know, I met Maria. You know, we met up and we always hang up on you know go to clubs and things like that. Yeah. And then we decide to you know to. You know, to make something formal and something serious. So, okay. How did you get, How did you guys meet? I uh, we met in a club. I mean, I was just uh, then I was trying to buy a pizza. And she was in the parking lot with the car, and you know, it just met out, outside of the club. Uh, cool. I mean, something. Where do you guys usually go out? Uh, we we don't go out no more. In the beginning, we used to go out every club. So. Okay. Uh, but that's for the first month, and after that, then when we decide to be together and you know make things a little bit more serious, then we uh, we just go to movies or we go to just uh, chilies, things like that. You know, nothing of what clubs and yeah. So you are more settled down now. Uh, yeah, when movies, yeah. dinner. Yeah, you know, so, you know something the, normal, the something that. You know, out of the bad life, you know, okay. you know what I mean? Because clubs and chillers always bring you bad things. Yeah. So. And you guys just socially drink or? Uh, yeah, man, we, we like to drink. Yeah. I mean, I don't consider myself like, as an alcoholic, but I like to drink. I like to have my beer once in a while. And, you know, when we move here, the all this day we've been drinking, you no know, like, like like a lot like uh, every day is because I have to go to work. Yeah. But when I come back from my work, I would drink a couple of beers. Okay. You know. So what about Maria? Maria, the same thing. She she don't drink unless I, unless I drink. You know. So and it's she was a she likes to drink, but she knows I get mad if she drinks by herself because I know she get like a little crazy when she drink. Okay. So, but. Um, since, uh, since I'm off today, yesterday I told her, hey, you know, let's go to Chili's, we bum some, you know, margaritas. Mm -hmm. And then after that we go to the uh, ABC or something like that, it's a liquor store, right? Yeah, Yeah. so let's go, so let's start today. You're, you worked 
Today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. Did you, did you work Saturday? Yeah, I worked Saturday. Okay, what time did you get off? I get up around around 4.20. Around 4.20? Exactly. I have the I have my papers and my receipts. And what about her? Time. What time is she? And she went she went to work also she went to work yesterday. She she don't work weekends, but she went uh, to the office yeah. uh, for a couple hours, two hours. Okay. From today to All right. So um, you get off work and you come home to the apartment, or you go somewhere else? No, I went straight to the apartment. Uh, take a shower, and then um, uh, she she was cooking dinner. Dinner was ready made. And what, what did you guys eat? At, at the house. Yeah. What did you eat? What did you guys uh, have? We uh, she made chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Um, and uh, beans and rice. Okay. So we just eat and we went to Miami um, uh, to see my mother. Around what time was that? Mm. That was around seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six thirty to seven seven forty or something like that. Okay. Then when we get out for, from Hialeah, we just we just went straight to the to the. To Chili's, right next to the apartment. Okay, so you went to Chili's before going back home. Hey, exactly. Okay. All right. Exactly. And you got the Chili's around what time? Oh, we get to Chili's around like eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight fifteen, something like that. But I'm not pretty sure, but it's, it was just something like that. Okay. And then how long did you stay there for? We stayed there for like an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes, an hour and twenty minutes. Okay. We only drink. Uh, she drink one uh, one margarita. I drink two margaritas. Actually, we drink uh, one and a half each of us. So, okay. Know, because the other one we we split. Uh, Shared. Uh, yeah, we share. Was anybody else with you? No, no. just me and her. Okay. Then um, the bartender. We went just straight to the bar. We we were on the table. Nothing like that. What and who? Uh, you got a car? A, a, a car? Do you have? You drive? I drive, but uh, I'm using her car. Using her car. Yeah. Okay, what kind of car does she have? She have a Scion TC 2009. A what? Scion TC. Scion? Toyota Scion. Oh, Scion. Scion. Okay. Scion. Okay. All right. Um, so you use her car when you have to go to work or when yeah, you have to Yeah, uh, you know, she would just walk to the office and she don't need to use the car, so then I'm using the car to go to my job. And, yeah, you know. absolutely. Okay, so you guys go get the chilies, have uh, margarita, then where do you guys go? Um, and we went to the liquor store, to ABC, right in front of uh, the Sargrass Mall, the side, and... Uh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then we buy a bottle of, um, um, 18, 1800, something like that. Okay. I, I, I never drink that before, so... That's tequila? Yeah, that's tequila, okay. it's tequila, so... Alright. We buy that, we went to the house. Around what time did you get back to the house? Oh. I mean, you, uh, you well, so it, it wasn't like not far away from. It wasn't not even ten o'clock, I believe. So. So before ten. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Before ten. Before ten. Anybody at the house when you get back? No, sir. All right. Uh, no one lives with you. Just you two live there together. Yeah, I just. You didn't have anybody uh, over? No one visiting. No, nobody. Nobody. Okay. nobody. Um, all right. So tell me about the night from when you get back to the house. Tell me what happened. Oh, okay. Um. We get to the house, she was already like kind of tipsy from the margarita I've seen the chilies. Um, you know, we start to drink. Um, we put like two car cardboard, uh, you know, boxes on the floor. We put the lime on top and, you know, because we, we don't have furniture. So we're about to buy, now when I get paid, we're about to buy furniture, TV, the, the TV and things like that, you know? Okay. And so we put the two boxes on the floor in the li on the dinner room, and then we start drinking and talking and listening to music. And you know we have a lot of shock of the of tequila. Then I don't know you know, in my in my position, me I can handle it. You know I can handle drinks. Because some you know sometimes you know you go a little crazy. And she was she was a lot crazy, and so she was asking me for stuff that she never asked me for uh, for that before. So, like you know, Like you know the thing with the arm and shit like that. And you know I never done that shit with nobody, especially with her. 
So, uh, so what, explain what, what kind of stuff was she asking? What do you mean with the arm? I mean, it's, first she, she started talking like uh, something like, you know, like uh, I was uncomfortable with it, you know, like uh, one day I want, you, I want you to put a bottle on, on my pussy, you, you know. Sorry, I'm just talking right now with you guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want you to you know, be open and for it. her and absolutely, and you know, you're, and not dis you're not disrespecting her. You're just telling us what she told you, yeah. what she had, what I she know, wanted you to do. You know, and it's no disres not disrespectful. Uh, you know, I'm a man. I'm I'm her man. So whatever she asks me, I do it. Okay. You know, whatever it is, I don't care what it is. Even if she want me to put my hand in her pussy, I put it. Okay. I put it. So she was telling me that, and then. I don't, I'm, I don't remember really uh, if I did it with the bottle too, or if I did not, because I really, I was really, really, really. What, what kind of, what kind of bottle are you talking about? It's a beer bottle. A beer bottle? Okay. All right. So she, what, what did, so what ended up happening? I know she was asking you to do these things. Yeah, she was happened? asking me all those stuff, and I, you know, I was starting feeling like uncomfortable, like, you know, because. She never asked for that, and I know she was tipsy. And, but um, when we were doing stuff and all the things, uh, she told me she wanted to throw up to get out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I get out of the bathroom, and uh, we, you know, I was outside, so I put it on smoking a cigarette. I don't remember if the door was already break or something. I really don't know. I know I break it because she 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 is not strong enough to break it. What door are we talking about? The, the, the glass door. I, I, yeah, I, I just remember I see glass on the floor, man. I really don't remember when I break it or why I break it. You know, to be honest with you, I really don't, don't remember. Okay. The only thing I remember clearly is that I went to the bathroom and she was like, you know, breathing. She was like, like this. And then I just want to call 911. And where, where was she? She was like uh, between the toilet and the and the, the, the shower thing. I like just and then like and I thought she was throwing in the, in the shower. I mean, but you know she wasn't. I mean, you thought she was throwing up. I thought she was throwing up, but you know I don't hear any noise, so I'm not the door. She announced it, and I'm getting it straight to that she wasn't breathing. Uh, you know she was she was constant. She was talking to me. Yeah. You know, but. You know, one moment I get so so nervous and scared, and then I get the phone and call 911 because she was getting worse and worse. And you know, I don't know. Who's, and um, whose phone did you use to call 911? The 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 wife phone. I mean, I don't remember what I from. We were listening music with a phone and the Bluetooth. Okay. All right, uh, but I really don't 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 remember where I grabbed the phone for. I called 911 and then and then when I was going to call 911 again, I didn't find the phone. I don't remember if she take it or if she throw it or something. What I remember is that I put a battery in the phone. The battery? Yeah, the battery in the phone. I don't remember where really where I find it, but I put the battery in the phone and called 911 again. But when before I call, I went outside and I see you guys. So it's when I tell the police officers or whatever were there, like, come up, it's right here. Now, when you called 911, was she was she still breathing? No, man, she wasn't. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't. I was trying to give her CPR, man. I, I remember I was kissing her, put some air in her stomach, was like up and down, man. And then she wasn't breathing. I, mean, I don't know when somebody is there or not because I've well, never seen their body before. Okay. I you mean, said um, when you first went into the bathroom and you saw her, she was breathing. She was pretty, she was conscious, all right? She was like, <gasps> and that's what I called 911. And where was she in the bathroom again? She was like in the toilet, between the toilet and the, and the, and the shower. The, 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 okay. Is, the, is it, a, is it a, a shower or a bathtub? Uh, yeah, the, a bathtub. So it's not just like a, a, like a, like a jacuzzi. Like, okay, you know. so it's not a, just a stand-up shower. No, if you want to no. take a bath, you can take a bath in it. Exactly, exactly. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know how to say that. No, no, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's okay. A, like a... Was she in the tub? No. I was, I was trying to put her there, but I couldn't lift her up. I mean, I was strong. And I don't want her to hit her head or hit something or something, you right, know? Right, right, sure. You know? 
And I'm, the last thing I do is just put some cold water on her face. I open the shower okay. and I put some cold water on her face to see if she reacts. And I start, hey, baby, you okay? Baby, you okay? I start screaming like a motherfucker and nobody here. You know, I don't know. Neighbors might be here, might be here me scream. Okay. I was screaming for, for help. Right. Is that what you were screaming is help? Yeah, I was screaming for help, man. Screaming anything else? No, man. I was just, baby, why you do this to me, baby? Wake up, baby. Help, help, help. Right. You know, because I don't know the address. Sure. I call 911 and tell them, hey, reach my number or something. I don't know how do you guys work. I mean, like, I know you guys have the system, you know where the call come from, but, you right. know. So when you, you you say that you, you dialed 911 the first time and you're, you're screaming okay. during that time. Okay, I was, uh, uh, what? Were you screaming, you called 911 the first time? I called 911 the first time. Yep. Okay. Did you well, actually speak to somebody? I speak to somebody. Okay. I All spoke right. to somebody, but uh, she was asking me, who, the where are you? The address, you know, I was so nervous that I just took the phone. Maybe I was the one that threw the phone away and put it away then. Stop, baby, and scream at her because I was so nervous. I don't have, I really don't have the patience to deal with the address that I don't know. Yeah, with. Don't I know, know my girl is dying right there, man. You know what it is? Uh, you know, and when I was going to call for a second time, that I find the phone, I went outside and I see the police and everything. Okay. You know, but it's, that's, that's what happened, man. Get fucking... Okay, so let's let's go in a little more detail about from when you guys start drinking and, and become sexually active to when she ends up in the bathroom. Okay. okay we need to talk about that time. Okay. okay. Um, what kind of sexual acts did you perform tonight? What did you guys do? What I can tell you, I didn't came. Okay. That's, that's one thing I can tell you for sure. For sure, and then came. Okay. Did you have intercourse? Did you put your penis inside of her vagina? Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. you wear a condom? And no, I did. We didn't. We didn't even open the new box. We buy a, a box of condom today. Um, yesterday, last night, we buy a new box of condom with the bottle. We buy the bottle, and then we went to the gas station. Okay. We buy the condoms. Okay. Now, now I got that. Okay. We buy the condoms, and then we went. You know, but I don't use any condo at all. I, I don't even touch the, the, the new pack, so okay. it, maybe it's still there. You, you can see if you, you guys go to your picture, you will see okay. it. And then, you know, she, she was, you know, I, I was strong, she was strong. She was telling me for me to do stuff that I've never done before with nobody, especially with her. Okay. And, you know, I know it might be a little embarrassing. Or you might want to, but man, listen, I want, you, need to do. I want you to tell me what kind of things. Because you're saying she's asking you to do things, I want you to explain. She want me to put my, you know, my arm on her pussy, and you know, stuff like that. And you know, like a open mind and here I don't know. Okay, and what what type of things did you do? I know she's asking you. What did you actually? Everything do? she told me to do, I do it. Okay. Which is what? What did she ask you to do? I put my arm on her pussy. Uh, I put my dick on her pussy. I believe I got the bottle. It was a small bottle. It was like a beer bottle or something like that. And she wanted me to put there too. You know, I just tried to make her happy, mm -hmm. whatever. I understand. But she was constant. She was not. She she wasn't like knock out or something like that. I would never do that to my girl. Knock okay. out. You know, okay. that that's not me, man. That's not me. But once we're when we do the thing with the arm, that was the last thing. She, she was telling me, I need to throw up. I don't feel good. Or something like that. Where, where then, did this take place? Huh? Where was this when that happened? In the bathroom. You were in the bathroom. It was, we start we start from 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 the from the like I think we start in the in the in the closet. I don't remember pretty well, but we were in the closet too, man. You know Okay, so let's we go step by step. Them. You guys start you said you had some boxes and you set up like a little area. Listen, you're know, playing some music. I know we, I know we have sex. I know I put my arm in there. I know I put a bottle. But to be honest with you, details, details, details like that, I cannot tell you, man. I was drunk just like her. Okay. I was drunk just like her. 
you know, I would love to tell you every details, you know, and I'm, I'm doing my best right I now. I understand. I understand. You know? We just want to make sure. And, you know, what I know, last, last thing, it, when she told me, get out of the bathroom, we were in the bathroom. Okay. But I know we went to the closet, too. I don't remember when or where uh, or how, but we went to the closet. We, we, we were all around. Yeah, like, what, what, what was going on in the closet? Same thing it said, and uh, I believe the bottle thing it starts there or something like that. What what other kind of things did you put inside her vagina? Well, that's just the bottle, my arm, my dick. You know, that's it. That, that thing. You know, that's it. She was she was crazy, man, and I was crazy too. When we walk, we walk for drunk. I mean, like you know, I like sex. She likes sex. Sure, know. there's nothing wrong and with that. And when girls get drunk and I get drunk, I mean, like. Whatever comes Listen, you're talking to two grown men. We understand. Mm -hmm. You know how it is, man. Um, now, have you ever done anything like this before? No, man. Has she ever asked to you to be do honest with like you? No, no. That's what I was kind of surprised today. You know, that's what I was kind of like a little surprised today because she never. We had to get drunk together, okay. but she never asked for that. But today she she did it. I mean, I don't know because she drank too much. Okay. The first time I see her like drunk like this, yeah. I never see her like without freedom or things like that. I understand. You know? All right, tell me, tell me about the argument. Tell me about any issue, the argument when you got home tonight. Uh, when we got home tonight. Yeah, once you got home in in the apartment, talk about that. Like, what, what was the what were you guys arguing about? No, but I mean we we were just talking and. She was just telling me that thing. Uh, one day I went to put bottle, and you know I was feeling a little low, man, because uh, you know and maybe I think that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not maker like. Not satisfied. Exactly, which is not true because I know I make a sacrifice, but you know I know she was wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when somebody's wrong, says the truth, and we start arguing. But I thought, hey, baby, come on, this. This night tonight, yeah. we're gonna be okay. Then we'll listen to music, man. We we're just drinking and drinking chocks. We were drinking two little cups like this, chocks and chocks and chocks. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't remember when the the glass broke or something like that, man. I really don't remember. So I know it's broke the, because I know I see glass in the floor. I understand. I from, so from the argument was, she was, you were kind of upset. She was talking about your manhood. She, you thought that maybe. No, no, no. Really, was, I, you know, I was, I wasn't upset at all. I mean, I just feel a little like down, but not upset because you know I know she was wrong and tipsy or whatever, and I was the same. Yeah. And you know, me and her. And, you know, before when we were drinking, I'm always, you know, not get violence with her, but, uh, you know, I have to, uh, my violence, I have to hit it with something else, the wall, the car, or something, okay. you know, I'm that, I'm that kind of person, you know, not, not just with her, just, and I'm not drunk, sober, even when I'm sober, the same person, never hit her, never touch her. I know you talked about the broken glass, is there other things that you hit or broke tonight? You know, in my mind comes uh, the computer, comes the laptop. I I believe is I see the laptop somewhere on the floor, like, like you know the laptop is uh, you know the the the, the keyboard is uh, plug and unplugging. You know, okay. I see it in the floor somewhere. I don't know if I throw it or just go to the floor. What about doors or anything like that? There's some damage to the doors. I don't remember man. walls. Was there any damage in that house prior to tonight? No, in the house there was no no damage at all. The house was completely uh, restored. Like everything was clean, clean and in order. No holes in the walls. No broken no doors. No holes in the wall. If you see holes in the wall, then I did that. Okay. Then I did that. All right. What about doors? Rip doors off the wall. Like uh, uh, closet doors. So any damage that w occurred any damage inside in that the apartment house, tonight? I did it. You did it tonight. I did it. I know it wasn't her. But was it, well, I think what he's asking you is, was it last night? Or was there damage prior no, no, to last no, no, night? No, 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 but no before. No, 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 last night is when happened everything. Everything okay. happened last no, night. No, nothing prior house, to last nothing, night. Nothing, 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 nothing. The house was perfect, perfect, perfect clear. 
I you take the responsibility for every hose and everything broken there. I did it. I know I did it. She she never do that. Okay. I know and, I did and, it. And why did you do it? The, you know that's the problem. I don't know why, man. We were drinking. I don't know why. That's that's the problem. I'm, I'm trying to make up in my mind why did I did that. Mm -hmm. When I do that, it's because I'm pissed. You okay. know. But I don't know what makes me pissed. Well, maybe she was talking about her her ex uh, husband or something, or something like that. Because okay. we, we, that makes I sense. Know, you know, I remember today that she was, she was mentioning him about something. Like what? Uh, I don't. Uh, she was mentioning the the. Uh, somebody from her family don't like him or something. Just don't mention him like a, like a good thing, you know, just something like a bad thing, but still mention him. But I don't think that's a reason why I get mad. I get mad for something else. I don't remember whatever I break or whatever I do. You, do, you get, do you get upset when she brings up her husband or brings up past relationships? Uh, not really, man. You know, like, she never does that. She knows that. She never does that. I mean, she never talk about her. It's, she knows he's a motherfucker, right? I mean, between you and I. Yeah. Yeah, she knows that he's not a good guy, so she never she never put him in conversation, things like that. No. So I never get mad because of that. Today she mentioned him but because of somebody of her family don't like him. That's all. So I don't get you know, mad because of that. I don't know why I break the door. I, Really, really, really want to make up in my mind and try to remember, but I'm thinking, I don't think, you know, right now in my mind, the only thing I know is my girl's dead. How do you, how do you when you say she's dead, at one point in time, you said she was breathing um, when you found her in the bathroom. When do you think she passed away? Ah, really? Uh, when she told me to get out of the barrel, she want to throw up. I think she was fine. I think she just want to throw up and be okay. But when I when I went to the bathroom, she was like not breathing, like <clears throat> some like 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 a heart attack or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really I'm not a doctor. Yeah. And then it's when I called the police. I mean, like really, really makes me really nervous. I never see her like that. One time. But, you know, I just put on the, the bed, the baby, you know, and she relaxed, everything good. Okay. But this time was different, very different, because this time she drinks a lot. Yeah. Who put the, you, you the, there's a sink on. A what? There's a sink on in the bathroom. The sink, the bathroom sink? The water is running. The water is running. The water is running? In the sink, yeah. And the sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The water in the sink is what's running. It was me. Okay, do you remember putting it on or why you put it on? No, nah, man, I really, I really don't know. I, I know I opened the, the shower and put, tried to put water on her face. That's, I remember I opened the shower, I don't know, uh, the same, maybe I did the same thing. I, I really don't know, man. I was really, Did really you Did you put try to put her into the tub? I tried to, but she was like, I, I was wrong and I don't want to hit her. So I just put it like uh, next to the... Uh, you know, right in the middle of the door, when you get into the bathroom, you just put her there, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, and try to give her a CPR. I don't, I don't even know how to give a CPR, but she wasn't breathing at all. She was with her eyes, like, uh, open, but not moving. And I, was, I mean, I was scared, man, and I was waiting for police or raking to go to go over there, man. Yeah. You know, once I see she, and I was screaming, I was on the floor, trying, trying to make her alive again, and... Screaming, baby, will you do this to me, baby? Help, help, help. Somebody have to hear me, man. I mean, yeah. I believe the door is already break when that happens. So somebody from outside have to hear me. Uh, the glass was already broke. Uh, the glass the was already broke, yeah. When, how long ago what, the glass was broke? When did that, when did that happen? <sighs> if I tell you, man, I, I, I lied to you right now because I really don't know when I break the door. I don't know with what, because I don't got coats in my head. Okay. And you know, it, some you know normally when you break a glass, you caught at least a little bit in your your hands. Yeah. And I don't know if I did it with something or use something. I know I don't use her. <laughs> That's
That's for sure. You don't wet her? I, I don't use her to break the glass, man. Wow. I never hit I never hit no woman none in my life, man. I don't do you never. remember do you, did you uh, during your argument or into when you were upset tonight? Do you remember punching her? No, man. with her or anything no. like that? No, man. Okay. Have you ever punched her, hit her, or struck her no. in the past? No. Nothing physical? Nothing. Nothing. We just agreed. That's it. Okay. That's it. What about has she ever been physical towards you? No. Hit Never. you, struck you, no. punch you? Anything Never. tonight? She's not like that. She's not like Nothing that. tonight? Well, not tonight. One day she just hit me in my face three times because I told her. Uh, she said, I'm going to slap your face. And I'm going to do it. And she was wrong, absolutely. She did it three times, hard as fuck. But when, uh, when was that? Oh, we were living on uh, Hollywood Bridge. Okay. Uh, Roosevelt Street. What What did you do when she slapped you? Nothing. <laughs> it just uh, stayed, okay, tomorrow I'm going to remind you of this. Were you drunk too at that time? No. <laughs> I was sober. Also. I was sober. I was, you know, she drank at the same uh, as a, at the same level I drank. So, but, you know, I can handle it because I'm, you know, I'm, I got a big body, man. And she's small. She get drunk faster than me. Right. <laughs> Way faster. You know, but never, never, she never touched me and never touched her. Yeah. And, you know, I don't, you know, I'm a man, man. I don't, I don't hate no woman. Okay. That's, but you, that's, you, that's, but you do get upset. I get upset, but it doesn't mean that I can, you know, I'm poor with her and hit, hit my girl or any girl. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm, my family raised me really good about that. Okay. Um, so. Any of the damage that, that occurred inside the apartment, you said that it was, you had done it, not her. And you said that any of the damage, the broken glass, uh -huh. the broken door. Is this a door broken too? Well, there's uh, a, a there's holes in the wall. Holes in the wall. Holes? In, holes? Oh, yeah, I did it with my hand. Okay. I did it. My question is this. You said it was last night, because before last night there was no problems, no broken glass, no, no holes. No, no, no. Was it before? Or after you guys started being being sexual, uh, for me, it was right right. Uh, what do you say? Before we have sex, before we have sex is when everything happened. With the door break, breaks, when one thing is break, everything else is gonna be break. I know I get mad because of something. Right. Then we say, "Hey, I'm sorry, Rana," and we start make up a sex or whatever we did. You know, so you, okay. you, everything the, the is argument. broke before we before we have sex, okay. not after. Not after. Not after. Okay. So you you guys are drinking, you have an argument, and everything you 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 get mad and start breaking everything. Yeah, I okay. believe that's what happened, but I don't remember what I get mad. You remember for, the, um, you remember making up, like. Yeah, we just we, we you know we talk and we we, we have sex. I mean, if, we, if it's not, we we don't have sex. Okay. Trust me, man. So my my thing is is if you remember kind of making up and having sex, what was the argument about? What what got you so enraged? That's that you what I the house? don't remember, man. You know, I know we had the sex. I know we, I did the, those dirty things, and I know this because I never did this before. And it's a shit, that shit is in my mind right now. Were you talking about sex before the argument? Oh, what? You said that she was asking you to do certain things. Was that before the argument or after? The yeah, argument? yeah, no, that was that was way before. Uh, that, we were just drinking, and she was like on oh, the moon. She was, you know, telling me not not telling me to do it today, which is for telling me hey, one day I want you to do this. Uh, you know, uh, okay, I, you know, I didn't didn't pay attention to that. I know I get mad because of something. It wasn't because of that. It was something else. It was something else. I know I break everything. I know I, I did it. If you see, you see holes in the on the wall and shit. Like, I did that. She she did it. I did that. I break the door. If everything is broken inside. I did it. Okay, I understand that. What what I need to know is why you did it. What no, was told no, to no, you or no what problem, what man. what you were upset about? I don't remember. Why you broke man. it? I really don't remember. I, was wrong. I need to know what she told you. I need to I need to know what you guys. You were upset about what the argument was about. I mean, you, then you ended up making up, but yeah, we mean, ended up making up. But <laughs> what have you? What do you normally argue if, about? If if I tell you, man, I lie to you because I really don't don't remember. I really don't. Actually, I mean, you're, uh, you're saying that she brought up you her know what? ex. You know and what? You got upset at that. I what? You saying that she's she brought up her ex? 
her ex boyfriend or ex husband. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, 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 but I don't get upset. But no, she's, no, she, no, that was in the beginning when we started drinking. That, that she's mentioning that some of the, her family, I think it was the, her aunts or something, don't like him. But you know, it was she wasn't talking about him. It's actually, you know, she was talking about her aunt. Okay, all right. But I don't get mad because of that, and I know that I break those, I put those holes in the wall, and it's because you told me. Because I, I really don't remember that I, that I did that. Okay. You know? Okay. So. And I know I did it because you say it's holes in, in the wall, I did it. When when she she talked about putting certain things in her vagina, she started talking about that and you guys were discussing that. Was this before having sex or during? No. I mean, she was telling me, she was telling me that when we were drinking and then we had the argument not because of that, maybe because of something else. If it would be because of that, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It's something else, and then in the end, we make them up, and I make my mind because I know I did something wrong. I've uh, pushed a wall, I've uh, break the door, whatever, and you know I did whatever she want me to do with her. That's what I, you know. That's the way I, I feel like to do it mm -hmm. because I know I did something wrong. I know I break the door. I know. Yeah? You know, and we both drunk, and I, you know, I, I do whatever she want me to do. I put the, put the bottle. It was a small bottle. I believe it was like beer bottle or something that she was drinking too. She was drinking the tequila and the beer. Okay. What kind of beer were you drinking? Uh, course, course, like I really like something like that, man. Something I don't I really don't. So I remember. I know I have a blue moon inside of the fridge, but I don't know if it's that one, the one she was drinking, or called Miller Light. So. Okay. So the bottle, the beer bottle, you put the beer bottle inside of her? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. That was first that I put my arm. Before or after? If, uh, that, that was before I put my arm. Okay. Then when I put the beer bottle, then she told me I put your arm. Did anything else between the beer bottle and your arm? I Not that I remember right now, man. I mean... How did you put the beer bottle in? Put it in. I mean, but how? Just did the, you, the part that you drink out of, you put that in and you put the bottom in? I mean, what did you put in? I really, I really don't remember, man. I mean, like, I just put the bottle. I know do you I remember, used the bottle. Do you remember taking the beer bottle out? Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. Right. <laughs> I ain't going to leave it there, man. I took him out. I took him out. Did you put the whole beer bottle in? Yeah. I, the I whole did. bottle? She was asking for it, man. You know, I did it. Okay. I did it. All right. And then, then beer bottle, then what's next? The... I think I used my dick between the beer, beer bottle. I didn't care at all because it really, uh, there was blood. Once I, you know, with the beer bottle, it was blood, man. I mean, I hate blood. So the, the beer bottle caused her to bleed? I think so. Did the beer bottle break? No. No. Not that, I, not that I know. It didn't break at all? No, that I know. There was, I mean, do you remember, was there any sharp, was there any, you know, if, it, if a piece of it broke, it's a glass bottle? Yeah, it's a glass bottle. I'm, I'm asking, is it? Yeah, you ask him. But it, so if it wasn't cracked, it shouldn't be sharp, right? Shouldn't be what? Shouldn't be sharp, like it will cut you. If it's not broken, it I shouldn't know, be sharp. It shouldn't be caught. Right. But remember, man, we're talking about a bottle that didn't speak. Right. So as soon as you took the bottle out, she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. That was blood. I know it was blood. And where was this at when this was happening? That was. Those who are in the closet, trying, trying to move to the to the bathroom. Man. I really, you know, it was crazy, man. Everything was crazy. Everything was that just together, the, the, the break, the door, everything was. Was she was, was she standing was up? Like one woman, man. Right. Was I was she, drunk too, man. Was she standing up? Was she up and like walking? No, she was like a uh, four four point position. Got like her hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were gonna have sex with her doggy style from behind. Uh, exactly. Exactly. And I don't know if we did it from behind. I really don't remember. I think so, too. So, okay. how did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Walking. Oh, so she did walk. Yeah, she did walk. And she was she was drunk, but she was okay. But she was bleeding from the closet. She started bleeding think, in the closet. I don't know if she started bleeding in the closet. I know I see blood. I see blood. I didn't realize, but when I see my hand, it was blood. Okay. And then in the bathroom, I know there's blood coming from her pussy. Okay. You know, and I tell her, she said, it doesn't matter, it don't hurt, huh? Okay, baby, what, what do you want me to do? Put your arm in me. Okay, baby, sure, huh? Yeah. 
But she was like, you know, was when, you I, when I stopped putting the arm and then like like five minutes after that, she told me, I'm going to get out of the bathroom, I need to throw up. Okay. So when you were in the bathroom, in, in the closet, cor correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is when you put the beer bottle in her. Yeah, in the closet, I think so, yeah, in the okay. closet. Okay, and she was on, in what position? And she was on like a, like a doggy style position. And you were behind her? Yeah, I was behind her. Okay, and you, and you put the beer bottle inside I her. put the beer bottle inside. Now, was it a situation where you just just put it in, or were you moving in and out? I'm moving in and out. Moving, I'm moving in, in and out. Okay, you know? and that's when she started bleeding? Yeah, I think so. I, I see blood in my hand. Once we went to the bathroom, I didn't realize it was blood, you know? And she went to the bathroom, and I went there, I see my hand, and said, blood. Okay, but... And I know that's a, a beer bottle. I know it has to be. Okay. Is, did you did you put your your arm or your fist inside of her in the in the closet as well? No, I didn't. That that, that I did in the bathroom. Okay, when you got when when you got into the bathroom, what position was she in when you were? Same position as the by the beer bottle. She Same. was on the floor. On the floor. On 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 all fours. Yeah, she was like a doggy stop position. And you were behind her. I behind her. Position. And she said, and she asked you to put your. She asked me to do it, and I told her, "Baby, are you sure? Am I gonna hurt?" She said, "No, I don't care." You know, and I tell you, you got blood. I said, "Okay, it's not hurting." Okay. She, okay. But she wasn't menstruating. She didn't, was, did. She have her period? No, she don't. I mean, she had period like two weeks ago, so it's not possible. And not pregnant at all, too. I mean, like. How, do you, how do you know she's not pregnant? Oh, I don't know that. Man. Did she was? No, I don't know. I'm asking. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't think she was. You said that because I'm always. I never came in some inside of her. You know, I'm always. You know, okay. use protection and you know. You know, I'm, I I know make the same mistake twice. You know? Okay. I already did twice, and no more, man. Yeah. We were ready to do one, but wait. You know, in the future. So you don't. You don't think she was pregnant? I don't think so. I never came inside of her. Okay. I never. Now, the, there's blood, there's a lot of damage that's in the house. There's a lot of things. Is there anything else besides the beer bottle in the closet that you put inside? There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of items on the floor. A lot of items? Like what? You tell me and I tell you if I did it or not. Um, because man, I, I really don't remember, man. I remember the beer bottle. There's like a, a flashlight. Light. There's some kind of like a flashlight. There's, um, there's a, a flat iron. A, like girl, a, a long, thin, flat iron girl that you women use for their hair. Oh, it's flat, yeah, the, the like thing. a curler. Maybe, maybe. Did she ask me for the big bottle? Everything similar to that thing. Maybe. I'm, you know, no, that I remember for sure my arm and the beer bottle. Okay. Besides that, if you find anything, maybe. What about maybe. a what about a coat hanger? A what? Like a coat hanger, or a, you know, that you hang clothes with. Uh, I don't think so. Man. Anything that would have like a hook or a sharp that something caused her to bleed, something cut her. Something cut her. I mean that she was bleeding. I have to be some of those stuff. Maybe my arm too. Maybe she half blood before I used my arm. Before you used your arm. Yeah, so the, the bleeding and the, the, the injury occurred it, most likely in the closet because that's where you first started putting things. Yeah, inside. I, I don't remember first blood in the closet. I really don't remember that. You know, even anything, man. It's, I just. I just got her a CPR because I was nervous. I was, you know, she cannot breathe. I called 911 right away because I really get scared, man. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't look around. I don't remember anything. I know I used the bottle. Well, you, I, used I know you keep saying you don't remember, but you do remember. Yeah, you do kind, remember. Of, kind of stuff, kind of stuff, a little by little, but for and real. it's important that you remember as much as you can and you I tell know. us and you're I honest know. and truthful about what happened. I'm always true. I'm always okay. true. I'm telling you everything. Everything I accept, everything I did, I accept it. And I and I and I, and I understand it. that you're you're a man and you're 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 accepting it. But we need to know details. We need to know exactly what happened to her, why it happened, what you were upset about. Those things are that you're you're remembering everything, but there are certain things that you're not remembering. And I think it's because it's hurting you inside. No, man, it's, no, it's, not really. It's, it's like you. If I already tell you about the arm, uh, I can tell you everything else. I understand. That's. I understand you put your arm, but there's a reason why you were upset. I, I, that, I that, don't know, man. Listen, I was wrong. I know when I... The, well, you kind of touched on it. You said that, you know, you, you, she wanted you to do certain things, 
And yeah, that yeah. was like, hey, wait, it might not. It, it makes me feel it, down, but I'm not know, upset. Okay. Not upset. Not to not to break the door and things like that. I have to do something else. Something that I don't remember. Something that I don't remember. I cannot tell you, man. If I tell you right now, I'll be lying to you because I really don't know what to say about it. I don't want to be telling you, ah, she told me this, but it's not true. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I take the fall for everything is broke. I know I did it. I know I did. But I don't know why. So you're saying everything in that house you did, everything that occurred in that house was caused by you? Yeah, the every in breaking things. And everything. The injuries that she has inside of her? Uh, injuries that she has. Maybe I did it, you know? I put the stuff in her. She did it by herself, but she was asking me to do it. You know? You know? I mean, I did nothing like, I, I didn't force her to do anything. I understand. I'm just trying to make sure that we have... Anything. The I never forced her to do anything that she don't want to. Before last night, you yeah. said this is, last night was the first time she asked you to do these things? Mm -hmm. With the bottle yeah, and, your, first and, time, and, your, and your fist? First time. Before last night, what is the kinkiest or craziest thing sexually you two have ever done before last night? 69. 69. Okay. That's it. Nothing else than that. Not even porno movies. So you went from pretty, van pretty vanilla, pretty tame. Like, like not doing too much. Not doing too much. Not nothing crazy. Sex. Just normal no, sex. No, normal sex. Right. Normal, normal you said sex. not even porno movies to watch. Not even porno movies. Okay, yeah, so yeah. normal sex. Normal sex. To... Way over here, where now she wants a beer bottle a beer and bottle, your fist inside of her. And all that shit. I don't know why she was telling me that for she, because she was drunk or I don't know why. Well, I mean, had you ever had sex with her prior to her? I mean, last night. Was last night the first time you two had sex while she was drunk? No, man, no. We had done it before, okay, so. but, but last night she was drunk, drunk, drunk. You know? Okay. And, you know, it was a, we both were drunk, very drunk. But you've had sex with her Prior to last night, where you both have been drunk, right? We had sex before drunk. Right. But no, like but drunk. She, but she's never, she, but she's never asked you to do anything like this. Uh, no, she's uh, put her pussy on my, you know, my, my, my mouth. Some, you know, normal things. Listen, normal sex. We're all men here. Yeah, yeah. You've eaten her out. She's exactly. blown you. Okay. Exactly. 69. You've had exactly. intercourse. Probably in different positions, doggy exactly. style, missionary. Exactly, 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 exactly. You know, she's probably sat on but top last of you. Night is First time that she asked me for shell like that. I don't know. I, she don't do no drugs. When you guys are having sex, are the lights on? Is it? Is it? Is there lights uh, on? To, tonight it was. That's what I mean. It may be. Maybe some. It, uh, one day is on. One day is off. What about tonight? Like tonight in the they were they were on, man. The bedroom lights were on. They were on. The bathroom, bathroom lights on. Bathroom lights were, were on. In the closet, I don't remember because I I don't remember see the blood. I see it in my hands when we went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. but uh, they, and now I see it in the closet. So, you know, and uh, I know it should she, be would, did, At any time, did she say that it hurt, or she was in pain, or anything like that? Yeah, I just I was asking her, baby, it doesn't hurt you. And she was telling me, no, keep doing it. It's just like, you know, yeah, and the, the language and the drunk to, language. It had to hurt a little bit. I, I know, man. I know. I, I know. Completely understand that, but you just, you just want me to keep doing it. I, do, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. It's her pussy, you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't have a pussy. Mm -hmm. After, even after you saw she had been bleeding. I tell her, baby, you're bleeding. Right. She said it doesn't hurt. That's what she told me. I don't know if it, because she was wrong. I was wrong too, man. Listen, I love sex, and uh, you know, I love to see her pussy. Whatever, you know. Right. But the, the the first thing that you can remember is putting a bottle inside of her. That's yeah, the first thing. that's that's one of the, that's the first thing, man. That's the first thing. That's and that comes to a conversation too. It doesn't make me pissed or nothing. Something oh, else. She, made, that's what you guys talked about initially. That no, no, not initially. We we talk about everything. We talk about our family, my family, everything. I mean, our future, whatever. And, you know, you know, conversation. And then she mentioned it. She mentioned about the bottle and things like that. that that's, that's that's where I'm a little confused. You guys are drinking, talking about family, you know, doing no, all the time. No. But to, and you've never done anything like this before. You've never. She's never asked you to do anything like this. You weren't like in the mood listen, at that. You went from point A to put a bottle love, inside of me. Listen, we're in love with Sheba. 
Yeah. We we always we always try to do everything to make the other one happy. Absolutely. You're you know? a man. And then uh, you know, and one part of the conversation, no, of course I'm not she gonna be talking about her father and from there she tell me I want you to put a bottle on my on my purse, you know. She she mentioned it but we're talking about something like sexual, like something good, like something that we wanted to do together. And she mentioned that. Did she say this is something that, she, like a fetish that she had, or did she, what? A like fantasy? Some, yeah, yeah she fantasy. should be a fantasy. Man. Are you talking about it. your fantasies tonight? Yeah, uh, no, me, man. I mean, like, I'm, you know, my my fantasy is just be with her, man, and yeah. I cannot do that shit no more. Did she want to do anything to you sexually that was kind of crazy that maybe made made you angry? Uh, maybe she would really want to. Do something, but I'm not. I don't think so, man. But she, 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 she knows I'm a man, man. I mean, not, nothing that she can do that makes me mad, man, man. Whatever she wanna do, do it. I'm, I'm okay with that. To you? Except, yeah, except my ass. Everything is okay, and she don't, she don't do that kind of stuff. So. But you did get mad. I did get mad because of something, man. But I don't know what. Well, we need to figure that out. Well, we need to figure it out. I mean, so what would make you mad? I did. What kind of what kind of things would enrage you? You guys have any problems in your relationship? No, man, not at all. We're, no. we're good. What about another guy? No, man. What if you found out that she was with another man? Huh? No, no, no man. No. We got we got a little bit of a problem. Problem. Yes. All right. I just got off the phone with our uh, crime scene, and the medical examiner is there. Okay, the doctor, and sh there's the injury to her is severe. Severe injuries. Yeah. Severe injuries. Inside of body. Yes. Um, multiple injuries inside there. Tissue ripped out. What is that? Tissue inside. All the insides out on the floor. What else? That's the cause of the death? Yeah. We think. You know the amount of blood that's in there? Her insides were ripped out. What happened, man? What happened? Fidel, this is not a case of just rough sex. Yeah. Okay? This is not a case of rough sex. There's blood everywhere. Everywhere. Listen, just tell us. No, I'm just doing whatever she was telling me to do. She wasn't telling you to do that. Because that's. Listen, Fidel. The amount of pain that she would have been in would have been unbearable, okay? The amount the doctor just looked inside of her and the amount of pain that she would have had, she wouldn't have been able to withstand it. I don't, I don't kill her, man. I don't. We're not say, saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you, you yeah. wanted to. I, I, I hear, I hear I your remorse. Care, Listen, I, I heard the remorse in your, in your voice when, when you're... you're trying to get help and I understand that you care for her and this is someone that you love okay. but however there's injuries inside of her that need to be explained she, she was telling me whatever the, the, what I was doing she told Listen, me do it this do it man she was telling me she I understand but that's me. that Listen, you as a human being you as someone that loves this girl would not be doing that to her even if she was asking you we both were it's, wrong man I, I, I don't care I don't care that doesn't make a difference in this situation, okay? There's serious injury to her. There's things that were done in, in there, and I think you have a little bit of a conscience, and you were worried. You were you were worried because you, you even cleaned the blood off yourself, okay? And hey, listen, look, you're not you. You love this girl. Okay? I love her, man. Of this course. Is some, and so I know what happened in there is not something that you expected to happen, okay? It just things got things went wrong. Things went bad. But it's important for you to be honest about it and tell I'm us the honest, truth. Man, because I, I know I know you're saying that you put your arm inside of her. I know you're saying that you put bottles inside of her and everything else. But there's more to it. There's more to this story. There's more to the story. And if you really love and care for this girl. And you have a heart, you'll tell us what happened so that we can have some closure for her. That's, that's because, listen, listen, there's more to the story than what you're telling us. And there's more that you remember. Okay? I know you're saying you don't, but you remember ex specific details here and here. But the, the part in the middle, 
you're blocking out because it hurts you. The fact that that happened, it hurts you that that, that occurred. It's got to be bothering you. I, I Listen, what, what they, I just saw pictures, and I'm going to show you some pictures in a little bit, okay? And show you what I just saw. It's devastating. And to do the right thing for her, and the right thing for yourself, and the right thing for her family. I do the right thing. Whatever I have to be done, I'll do it. The right thing is to tell us what happened. I'll tell you Tell everything. us the truth of what happened. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you everything what happened. Everything that I remember, that's what I told you. I know, but there's more that you remember. No, I don't remember You're blocking anything. it out, but there's more that you remember. It's not that I'm blocking it out. Fidel, do you, let me ask you a question. Do you, do you want to be looked at as an animal? A what? Do you want to be looked at as a monster? Of course As not. someone who's careless? Of course not. Exactly, because I don't think you're that person. I'm not that person. Okay. I, mean, I have two kids so, and I have my job. But, uh, okay, so listen. That's what we're saying. I don't think you're a monster either. I don't think you intended for any of this to happen. Of course not. Okay. But, but, at, some point but you at, got, some point, at some point you got upset and you became enraged. That there's there's a point in that time when you when that happened something something snapped something upset you. No, nothing, man. Nothing. Because we just the damage playing. that you caused in that house, that house was not in that condition prior to all this going on. All of a sudden, now there's holes and everything is destroyed. She's got internal injuries that need to, that you're saying is just caused from a bottle, and that's not the truth. Those injuries. That's not the truth. There's more that was up inside of her. There's more that was done, and. There's no way she could have dealt with that pain without either being unconscious or telling you she to was, stop. She was, she was, she was talking to me. She was like, well, no, maybe, may, like, maybe in your head you're thinking that. But nah. well, I know she might have been talking at the beginning, but there, there's some point in time when she's not <clears throat> conscious because <clears throat> what is what was taken out of her is impossible for when you. When she was not conscious, when I came into the, the to the bathroom, she was not breathing. She was like, <clears throat> like this. That's the point that she was unconscious. But when we're doing the stuff, she was talking to me. She was telling me, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, Keep doing. Fidel, just let this, this is not rough sex, man. I told you that. This is not, this is, this is a lot know. more than rough sex. I know, I know. Okay, so if you know, explain I to understand. us. Tell us. I understand. Tell us. I did everything she told me to do. When I, do I don't know. I what else did you put inside before. of her besides a beer bottle in your fist? What else? This and the bottle. What else? And, and that thing that you said for the hair could be possible, too. The flat the, iron? The, the thing for the hair. What else? Nothing else that I remember. What did, in the closet, at some point, stuff that's inside of her came out? And stuff of yeah, her, her stomach. Part was, of her body. Part of her body, tissue, is out inside the closet, on the ground. How's gonna, how can that be possible, man? You tell me. It's only possible, it's only possible by what was going on in there. I find it hard to believe that she got up and walked to the bathroom after she what happened to, to her inside the closet. She walked to the bathroom. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't bleed out in the closet. She bleed? I thought no, I told like you. bleed out, like not be able to breathe. And pass away in the closet from the amount of blood that she lost. No, she was in the bathroom. She, she, she was. She told me she wanted to throw up, and when I did come you, back, did you drag her to the bathroom? <clears throat> no, she was. She was normal. She was like. What do you mean normal? Like, like she couldn't have been normal because her insides are on the floor. She was spread out. walking. Okay. Look, she was walking to the bathroom. When you put your hand inside of your fist, were you? I'm not trying to be funny when I do this. I'm asking. Did you? Were you doing this? Yeah. Okay. When you pulled your hand out, did you have anything in your hand? I don't know, blood, I guess. Anything else? Do you feel anything in your I hand? No, that I remember, like, you know. Squishy, just, anything? Just, just blood, I mean, full of blood. I mean, no, oh, come on, man. I'm asking. No one's saying you intended hey, for this no, to happen. Of course not. Exactly, that's why we're out, we're trying to, we're trying to figure this out. We have to explain to the doctor, and we have to explain to other people that are looking at this what happened. Okay, we have to explain how she got into this condition. Part of her insides, from inside of her body, are on the floor in the closet. We're not saying you're a killer, okay? No, I'm not. Because you're not a murderer. You're not a killer. This is no. not you, okay? No, 
but you have to be honest of what happened in there so that we can put the pieces together. Everything I've been telling you is everything I know. You but know, there's some things that you're leaving out. There's I'm some things. Anything that, anything there's on. some things that you're leaving out because you're afraid. You're afraid that it's going to make you, you. You think that it's going to make you look bad. It's going to make other people look at you bad. But you know what's going to happen? If you're not honest and tell us what actually occurred in that house, and we're trying to put all this together. That shows that maybe, you know what, maybe he is a bad person. Maybe he what, is a cold-hearted killer. Maybe he doesn't love her. And I don't think that's you. No, that's not me. Man. It's not you. I know you, you, you have care and concern for this girl. All right? Do you love this girl? Of course, babe. Okay. Would you do anything to hurt her? Of course not. Okay. But you did. Right? And I'm not leaving anything out of these. But, but you, did, you understand you. that you hurt her. Right now, I understand. Everything you're doing, you're but you told me right now. But, but you know you did because you saw the blood. Yeah, blood is not blood. normal. Blood from sex is not normal. That amount of blood is not normal. Okay. Did it, the injuries that were caused to her, she didn't do them to herself. Of course not. And there was no one else in the apartment. It was me. It was you. I know. Okay. I know that. So explain to us how... Part of her insides, part of her inside of her body. Listen, why, why did you why did you wash your hands? Why did you wash? Because your I went outside to smoke a cigarette. Why? Yeah, but you cleaned up more than just the, the amount of blood that's in that apartment, all over the walls and on the floor. You had a lot more blood than just on your arm. You had a lot more blood than just on that right arm. No, you you can taste me, man. I don't even have soap in my hand. It's just pull water and wash the hand. Where, where else was blood on your body? I don't know, just my hand. Maybe this one. But both, both hands. this one is the one I use. No, this one is the one I use. Your right arm? Yeah, this okay. one. But did you have blood on that on that arm Maybe too? Maybe if I touch myself for you. What about your legs? The legs and the floor. Well, you had that blood in your legs because there's blood all over the floor. There's blood on the floor. That's, wow. what I have, that's what I have blood on my legs. Yeah, but you don't have really a lot of blood on your legs. Did you go into the shower and wash off? No. Because you said you put the shower on. To put water on her face because she wasn't breathing. It's when I called the police, the 911. What about a towel? Did you use a towel? I know. I don't use no to towel. To dry so off? To mm -hmm. wipe anything down? I don't think so. I don't know. No, it's important that you. you I, I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't use nothing. I don't use no, no towels or something like that. So after, you, after you called 911 the first time, and the phone went down. You say you dropped the phone, or you disconnected because they couldn't get the, they the couldn't get the address, correct? Yeah. Well, what did you do phone. from that point to when the police got there? Try to wake him up. Try to give her CPR or something. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. Okay. Not breathing at all. Did she ever ask for help? No. Her? No. She was a. <gasps> did she ever ask? Tell you to stop, or that she was in pain never, or hurting? Never. Never. She was talking, you know, like, keep going, keep going. That's it. But she never told me, stop. I don't know. I don't even know how fucking shit from her body come out of there. Really don't know. I mean, like. Well, listen. You see that, right? Yeah. All the way here. If you put your whole arm inside her, you were up inside her stomach. Correct? What the, what you, no, I mean, I'm just saying, you think realistic, yeah, you're, yeah, you're no, putting your no, whole arm thinking, inside her, no, you're, no, where's thinking, your no. hand at that point? It's not in her vagina anymore, right? I understand. It's up inside her stomach. Well, why she didn't tell me to stop or something? We don't know. <clears throat> and the stuff, and, and the part of her body from, the, from her insides that's on the floor, it's not, it wouldn't just fall out of her. It would have to be pulled out of her. I didn't pull anything, man. Like, oh my God. When she had, where was it that she had trouble breathing? In the bathroom. So she was fine in the closet. Yeah, she was fine. She was, she was, she was okay. Let me get. She was wrong, just like mine, just like me. But, but I said, in the bathroom is when I when I get nervous and she wasn't breathing. Was she coherent? Huh? Was she like awake during that time? I yeah, mean, she you was. You're saying drunk, but was she? Did she know what was going on? Of course. She was the one that told me pull the bottle on me. I understand. She that. was the one that told me 
to use your hand. I mean, of course, I, I wouldn't do it if you wouldn't tell me that. Yeah, I know. I she never... said to put your hand, but you put your arm. Listen. Listen, you know, when you put your arm in someone and go up inside of their, inside their intestines, that's, that's damaging. That's damaging. It's not sexual. That's torture. Is it possible that she passed out while you had your arm inside of her? No, she was awake. She was, she was, she was like, like, like having fun. Like, you know, like, like having fun. It's not like a, like a scream of pain or something. Like, just having fun. You know, like, that's how come I, that's how come I say, I don't, oh. Were you, were you upset at her? No, I was, of course not. You were upset at something. You were mad. You were angry. Listen, like I explained to you. I mean, you're feeling no pain because you're punching wall holes and walls and doors and everything else and breaking glass. There's. I don't remember when I don't know of that bad. I know I did it. Yeah. But I don't know why, and I don't remember how, how, with what I break the door. I know maybe the holes with my hand, mm -hmm. but but like I like I explained to you earlier, I have that temperature. She knows. She will, will live in all the places, and she knows how to do the same thing. I understand. You know? I understand. But then at that point, I think maybe the rage when you guys are having sex continued. I think it continued no, because her. you shoved your fist up into her stomach, inside her, her guts. You know why I think she was passed out when you had your fist inside of her? I'll explain to you why. Why? Because what came out of her insides, there's no way she could have been conscious and not been in... Horrible, horrible, horrible he pain. Explain to me, it's from her, of course, sign inside of her body. But why, when I pull my arm, and you obviously she pulled was, it out. No, I don't. I don't grab anything. I mean, just pull my hand. That's it. it no, you put your you put your arm up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like like he just said. Look how far that is. I know. Okay. I know, but I don't, I don't grab anything and pull it back. But, but if it comes something out of there, I, I really don't know. I mean, oh man. Did you guys get in an argument because she thought she was pregnant? No, of course not. Oh, I wish you could be pregnant, man. If well, maybe if it was yours. Maybe it was. Maybe she was pregnant by somebody else. I don't know. If she was pregnant? I don't know. I'm asking you. Is no, there a man, conversation? she's not pregnant. I have no idea. She's not pregnant. She's fell, uh, fell for, uh, how do you say? She, she, she don't shit on me. I mean, like, she, she's, a, she's a good girl. She's a perfect girl, man. She's my love. You know, and I don't shit I don't her. doubt for one second you love her. But we have to figure out and we have to make some sense of what happened here because this is not rough sex, okay? I, I, I understand. Her I understand. guts, her guts, I don't know what else word to use, her insides were ripped out of her. That doesn't happen by a beer bottle. I know, okay? of Because the beer bottle's not broken or cut. It's not, there's no sharp edges to it. It didn't break inside of her. We, I asked you that. You said no. Okay. I don't think it breaks inside. It was good. The bottle was... And, and, and which end of the bottle went inside of her? I don't I really... To be honest, I don't remember. I really don't... Were you holding the top of you know, the part you drink? Were you holding that in your hand? I don't remember, man. I know I used the bottle. Right. I know I used it, but I don't, don't remember. And how, from the table, how big is a beer bottle? About that big? It's a meter light or close light bottle. With a know. long neck? Yeah. Okay, so it's about what, that tall? Uh, something like that. Okay, so the whole bottle went inside of her? No, no, the whole, I was holding it. Well, you were holding it. Yep, yeah, but I don't know if it went all the way up to you. Okay. From, from the back or from the from the top, I really don't know, man. I'm just... <sighs> right. no, one thinks you're an no one thinks you're an animal. No one thinks you intended to do this. Of course not. Okay, seriously. Of course not. But you, you've got to be able to explain what happened here? Oh man, we both were drunk. I'm, I don't know. I really don't know. I was so drunk and she was so drunk. I really don't know, man. I wish I can explain better. I wish I can explain better. I, I'm telling you everything I remember, man. I'm, you know, I'm fucking telling you everything, everything I remember, like, you know, almost exactly how it is. Almost is the key. 
exactly it's all, it's because almost. I don't I don't remember everything. But, but I think you do. I think there's a point that you're trying to block out because it's killing you right now. It's burning you up because of what happened, and you're thinking back right now, thinking, "Wow, I can't believe I did something like that." But it wasn't you. You weren't in the right state of mind. You you wouldn't intentionally listen, hurt her, right? Listen, there's nothing inside of me that I have not telling you. Everything that I know is everything that you know. Okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not hitting nothing. I'm not, you know, I, you know, I prefer to pay 20 years on job just, just for, for, you know, you know, for her family to be okay and they don't think I'm a monster. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think you're a monster. But no one thinks you're you a monster. Know, I don't, I but, don't. But you have to, but you have to be honest and help us put I'll the pieces honest. together from point A to B. You're giving us here and then there's a gap and then you're giving us after. That time in between, from that closet to that bathroom, something happened from the closet to the bathroom that you're leaving out. Okay? You guys drank. You had an argument. Yep. Did the argument happen after, possibly? You're saying it happened before. Did it happen after? Did it happen during? Oh. Uh, when I break the stuff, it was right. Why are you right breaking before stuff? Before we make sense. Okay. So you're breaking stuff. You're having an argument. What is the argument about? I don't know. That's that's, that's what I, I, I don't know. I really I wish I can remember and I'm telling you. You know I can't. But see I can't, that would. I can't but tell you, you, do you I can't understand tell you how anything. that would? You, I, can, I know. But don't you understand how that would make more sense? That if you did something during sex that may have injured her, there's a reason. You know, there'd have to be a reason. You're not just going to do it for no reason. For no reason. For no reason. No. You're not going to hurt her for no reason. You're going to hurt her just because she's drunk? Cause she's no, 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 no. Just because no, no, you're no, drunk? No, 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 no. You said you've had sex with her when you're drunk before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you have been but, drunk before. But no, not like yesterday. Yesterday we, we were like really, really, really drunk. I understand that, okay? And you, But you also said to us earlier that the, the kinkiest or the craziest thing you've done sexually was a 69. 69. Okay, so that's why we're saying something ha else happened here. This it isn't this isn't rough sex. I have said okay, that before. I understand that. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. That's you do? Okay, sex. so then explain yeah. to us what it was. You know, what, what was it was it? to me, it rough sex when I was drunk. And for her, the same thing. Because she didn't scream with pain. She wasn't telling me to stop. You know, how can I explain? I mean, I don't leave nothing behind. I can tell you whatever. I can tell you, yeah, we have an argument about her edge, and that's it. But I'm not going to tell you that because that, I really don't know, man. The, 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 uh, you said that she never said stop. Was, uh -huh. she, was she unconscious? Did she, she was, pass out? She was talking. She, <laughs> she was talking. Initially, but, yeah. but you could be, you know, when you get drunk and you, you have no idea what's going on and you, you when she was it. unconscious is when I find when I went to the bathroom she cannot breathe in the it's closet. When, did she pass out in the closet? No, she was she was she was like normal, like like normal. She was okay. she wasn't normal in the closet. She had her stomach ripped out of her in the closet. I know you you guys so that's me not down normal. Now, but there's the amount of blood that's in the closet and what happened in the closet. There's there's no way that she was either. Saying no and stop because it hurt like hell, or she was unconscious. That's the only explanation we can have here. She wasn't unconscious. She wasn't, and she wasn't telling me to stop. But that, that's the thing. It's one of those two things. No, because there's, she's going to let you rip her stomach out and not say anything? That doesn't make any sense. That, that makes absolutely no sense, Fidel. Does it to you? It does. It does okay, make so, sense. So I'm not. I, we're, so we're on the same page here. I understand. Here. We're on the same page. Okay. Because. Fidel, I know it's not easy. I know you're confused. I know a lot of things are going through your mind right now. Of course, man. You, you know? But you have to do the right thing and tell I'm the truth. I'm doing the right thing, man. I'm you need to do the right thing and be honest. Remember. I know everything you're, you're everything. saying that, everything that you remember, and I understand that. But I think there's more that you remember that you're not telling us. There's more that you're leaving out that you're not telling us. I'll never hurt her. I will never hurt her. Okay. Never do something to hurt her. No, you, you know, and killing her? I'm not saying you killed her. 
She, I mean, she, obvious okay, but listen, listen, I mean, like, listen. There's a reason because she is there because whatever well, we did. But did you intend to do that? Of course not. Okay. Of course not. I wasn't okay. conscious, man. Okay. We, it's like we, a car accident. You get in a car accident. Someone dies. No, this is not a car accident. Well, I'm just no, saying it's an accident. This this was obvious. Was this, I mean, something, you either intended to kill her or this was an accident. Of course not. Okay. So, if you guys were having sex and you accidentally did something to her that you didn't intend and she ended up dying from it, well, then that's an accident, right? I know, but it is... But at some point, at some point during this night, you saw the blood. You saw this. You saw that you I made a mistake. I saw the blood. Oh my! You, but you, but at that point, you knew you made a mistake. No, right? I, I made a mistake at this point, and I, I knew I made a mistake. But, you, at that but you, point, you knew you made a mistake at that point when you're washing the bloods off the blood. I know it's arms. blood. I just, I just washed the blood because I was going to smoke a cigarette. I know I had blood. I know I had it. I know I had the blood. Were you going to smoke a cigarette because you knew that it was over? No, man. I went to smoke the cigarette because she told me she was going to throw up to get out of the bathroom. No. That's what she told me. That's what I get out of the bathroom. And when I go back, I see her without breathing. It's when I call 911. I'm not leaving anything behind, man. I'm telling you everything, everything, everything I remember, everything how it was. If it's something else, I'm sorry. I cannot tell you. I, you know, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Take a, take a few minute break. Yeah. Maybe it'll help you remember more if you start to write stuff down. Maybe. It'll be possible. You want to try it? Write it down with that. But I'm going to write this the same thing I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. Take your time. Write. Maybe something will come to your mind. Okay? Listen. No one, we're not saying you intended to do this. Of course not. Maybe. Okay, so just no, understand that. Jail because understand that. Listen. Understand that. Just write, and maybe it'll help you jog your memory. Okay? And we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay? You want some more water? No, I'll, I'll write it down outside if, you, if it's possible to wear, wear a small cigarette. Sure, absolutely. Come on. You have your cigarettes with uh, Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll, you know, go to jail because something that I really do. Sure. Need something to drink? No. Drink some water. You're good. How many cigarettes did you smoke? One over there, right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So let's let's discuss what's going on. Okay. Talk to me. I'm not going to think any different of you. No one is. We're only, it's only going to be for your benefit. It's only going to help you. Tell me what happened. I don't know, man. I think things get out of hand. We both were drunk. We both were drunk. For real, to be honest, I don't, I really don't remember why that points the, 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 the holes, uh, you know. Now, I know that I did it because you just tell me there was holes. I don't, I don't even know the open holes and that. Okay. I'm not concerned about the, the holes. Whatever it did, like I said, she was, she was talking. She, she, she was talking in the, in, in, in the closet. And then in the, in the bathroom too. I remember those parts because I do remember those parts. But but uh, you know the, we weren't drinking more when we have says uh, whatever we weren't drinking. We just drinking until we had the whatever problem we had. But I don't know what was it. No, um, that's that's you know what the problem was. That's that's what you're holding back. And that's what you listen. need to come clean with. That's what you need to be honest with. Like the touch no, machine listen, on me, man. from whatever you're you saying, from whatever the problem you have, that's where it went bad. That problem you know is what you had. You know what happened. You know what was upsetting you. I have nothing against her. Whatever I think I you do. Hit. I think you do. Maybe I, you know, things get out of hands. Okay. And that, but it's but when not things get out of hands, things get like, hurt inside or something. Things I mean, get out of hand because something bothered you. There's something you oh keep my. saying that we got to the point I got upset or something bothered you and then it, things got out of hand. What was it? What was it? Man? That's what I'm trying to 
figure it out, man. I you, really, you don't have to I figure it out. You know what it was. What was it? What caused you to no, go? See, if I really, if I really it, know that, I'll tell you no, right but now. I think you do. You do. But I'm not. You're, you're, listen, I you really, know yourself. You know, know who myself. you are. Okay? Know you know what I'm. upsets you. No. Okay? When I was drunk. You, yeah, but you know, no, my, when you're mind. drunk, you still know what upsets you and what causes you to go get upset. All right? You've had arguments with her in the past. Right? You've had arguments with her in the past. You know what things have sparked and, and caused you to get upset. This is no different, man. And you need to just tell us why. That's all you need to do. It will be a big weight lifted off your shoulders, I'm telling you. It really will. You know what I think part of the reason is you don't want to tell us? Because we're three men sitting here. I think part of you is embarrassed. Because I think I have an idea what may have happened. And I think you do too. I know you do. And you just don't want to tell us. Okay? What do you think? What do I think? I think you wanted to have a nice night with your with your girl, and you guys went out drinking, and you came home, and you stopped and bought some more some more liquor, some tequila. You came home, and you're drinking, and things started moving, and you drank so much, you couldn't get your dick hard. You couldn't get it. You couldn't get an erection. You're asking me what I think. I'm telling you what I think, okay? And then because you couldn't get your dick hard, okay, an argument, a fight ensued, because now you don't feel like a man. Now you don't feel like you're worthy. Now you don't feel like you can, you can, no pun intended, rise to the occasion and do what you got to do is please your girl, okay? And so an argument ensued, okay, and you got angry. I'm okay. not doing nothing against her, man. Okay, you said earlier, you said earlier you told us that you didn't come. Uh, you didn't ejaculate. I did, I did, and that's, I, I think, because you couldn't get your dick hard. That's, no, I, okay. I did get hard. Okay, and I think I you were embarrassed, and I think it pissed you off because she said something. Maybe she didn't mean to. Maybe she didn't mean to offend you. But whatever she said offended you. You're a man, okay? No you're Hispanic. You're Cuban. You have pride, okay? Don't, don't sit here and question my manhood. Is what you're saying? Here. Uh -huh. Am you, I? Am I right? That's what you think. I'm asking. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So what happened then? So what, what happened with the happened, argument? Man. That's not what happened. No. To be honest, man, I really don't know what happened. Listen, I was. So Oh, Fidel, so come on. Don't right. listen. You remember here, you remember here, and you remember here. Okay, remember but you conveniently don't remember the most important part. You conveniently don't conveniently don't remember what happened in the closet, what happened in the bathroom. Okay? Or what happened in between the two. The she had her guts ripped out in the closet. And you're gonna sit here and tell us, come on, you don't remember what the argument was about? Fidel. We both said it. I don't think you're a monster. I don't think you intended to do what you did. Okay? But ultimately, you did it. I did it. I know that. And I know you know that. To be a man about it, explain why. What set you off? What got you so angry? You were enraged. Why? Just explain why, and you won't know it. You're a human, okay? You're a human being. You're flesh and blood, just like he and I. And you snapped and things got things went bad. Okay? Just explain that. That's all we're asking you to do is explain why, what happened. What started it? We were like, we were like drinking. We were drinking, we get drunk. I don't even know, not even when I open the holes, when I, when I break the window. I don't, I don't, don't even remember when I did that. I don't, I don't know what was the argument. I know something happened, but I really don't know, man. I mean, like... Fidel, you ripped her insides out of her through her vagina. I didn't mean to do that, man. I understand that, but you did it. What pissed you off to the point where you did that? Was she fucking somebody else? No, did she tell you she wanted to leave you? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. Did she tell you she was having sex with her ex-husband again? No. No, 
was about, believe me or something, um, maybe she mentioned something about go to Peru. You know, she, but she that was, she, she, she no, yesterday she mentioned it like day, one day ago, like two days ago. Okay. And going to Peru and live with her mother because she was, you know, tired of whatever, this country. I don't know why she was like that. You guys were getting along? Huh? You guys weren't getting along? Oh, yes, we do. You want me to go with her, but, you know, it's... I, I cannot leave my kids here and my job and go to somewhere else and not yeah. to make any money. Yeah. I mean, that, that might be one of the reasons. But, uh, to be honest with you guys, I really don't remember. Did you talk about that last night? I don't know, man. I, we were so... I, mean, I was drunk. Uh, she was drunk. In your house before you, all this started going on, did you start talking about that? When you sat down at your little makeshift boxes, cutting up lines, having... No, them? the only thing we talk about was the, one of her hands don't like her, her ex-husband. Uh, that's, that's the only thing we, we talk, um, like, you know? How did that conversation come about? You're having a nice night with your girl, drink, having drinks, yeah, we, and we, you start we, talking we, about your, her cousins and her ex-husband? No, because, we, you know, we were just talking about her family or my family and things like that, and, you know, you know, we're just talking about the family and whatever is good, whatever is not good, whatever is a piece of cherry, whatever is not, you know, things like that. If I, if I really remember what's going on, why, why, why was the agri, I'll tell you, when, man, I'll when, really tell you. Anyway. Listen, what, when you discovered that she wasn't breathing, what was going through your mind at that time? What well, was going through my mind? Well, she was dying. Okay. And what do you think was going to happen? Or what? If she died, what did you think was going to happen? If she died? Mm-hmm. What, what? What am I going to think? I'm there. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm... You know, I, I cooperate with anything has to be done. You know, I'm not run away. I'm not, you know. Yeah, I know. I know you didn't. You didn't run. You're here. You're talking to us. You're, you, you. And I know it's whatever happened. And, and this is our thing. This is why we're doing what we're doing to try to get some explanation or reasoning. Because when somebody outside, when everybody that's going to look at this situation and look at what you did, if there's no reason for what you did, that's worse than if there's at least you had some reason for what you did. I mean, if they said, you know what, he doesn't know why he did it, he just took her life and put her out of her misery. There's, there's no but if you at least have some kind of reason, some kind of justification, some kind of explanation, you know, explanation of why you did what you did, let me tell you, man, not only for you, but for everybody else looking at this, at least have some kind of closure, some kind of like, you know... Thing. I, I wish I can, and, I can and, have and, something and, right now to and tell to you. And to be honest man. with you, all the things that he's been giving you, saying like, you know, relationship problems or sex problems or wants to leave you, go to Peru. Okay, I would understand maybe that gave you justification. You got started drinking, you weren't thinking straight, you got enraged, you got pissed off, and you took it out on her. I mean, but by you saying... That's an explanation. By, One of those by, is an explanation. By saying, I got, we were drinking, then I got enraged and took it out on her, but I don't know why. That, I mean, that shows that you're cold-hearted, man. You look like an animal. You look like an animal in that sense. And I know that's not the case. See, you got to remember something, too. When we do an investigation like this, we, you know, we're talking to neighbors. We're knocking on... You live in an apartment complex, mm -hmm. okay? Your neighbors are right there. The walls are thin, okay? So they hear what sounds like construction going on in the apartment next door. Because you're breaking shit for hours. And they hear a, a male voice screaming for hours. But they don't hear any female voice. Because I was, I was fine. I was for hours before 911 was called. Before 911 was called? Yes. Around 1 o'clock in the morning. 